Hey, what's going on guys? I am away from home right now and I don't have my mic, so I don't know how my audio sounds. But I do have my camera, so that is good. Uh, but in this video, I'm gonna make a campaign with you guys. Um, it is 2024 now, you guys should be running ads this way. Um, don't just listen to me, there's other media buyers talk talking about this strategy as well. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set up the campaign and, show, and, and even show you some existing campaigns I've already made. Um, so let's dive into my um, ad account and I'll show you how to make it. Okay, so we're inside an ad account right here. Um, I can't show you my active active ones simply because I have other parties involved. I have the names of my, my, my store and, and you can see the ads and stuff. So just bear with me, but I will try to show you guys as much as I can um, so you guys can replicate this. Um, and again, if you guys are new to my channel, I talk a lot about Facebook ads and Shopify dropshipping. Um, we're going to utilize broad targeting. Um, it's 2024. If you guys are still using interest, you guys are using Facebook wrong. Um, we're trusting the machine learning. We're trusting the AI. We're trusting the algorithm to give us the best results. Um, I try to think about it as this. There's only two things that we can control. We can control how much we spend and what creatives, what ads we actually give the platform. So um, the strategy is super, super simple. Let me show you guys <coughs> some existing CBOs. Usually when I test a product, I start with the USA, uh, but you can do this in Australia, Canada, any, any country, it doesn't matter. But if you're just starting off, I would do a $100 budget CBO um, in the USA. And it has one campaign, one CBO, one ad set, and this is CT for creative test. And then we're going to put all of our ads that we're testing in that ad set. This is just for testing from day one. Now, when you have something that's working, you have a winning product, you have, you're building a brand, you're going to test creatives differently, but don't worry about that. For now, you guys need to get something working at low spend between $50 and $100. I use $100 CBOs. Um, you can go down to 50, but I really just recommend, you know, bumping it up to 100. Now, the entire goal is to get something that works at a good ROAS, hopefully a three plus ROAS at $100, and then you want to scale that up and see how far you can take that ad um, in this campaign. Okay, so let me show you how to actually make these campaigns. So we're going to go to create, and we're going to go to sales, and we're going to go to continue. I hope this isn't laggy. Okay, and then, so as you can see, Facebook wants us to use advantage shopping campaigns. It's like the new thing with Meta. It's been around for I actually don't know how exactly how long, but it's relatively new and they want us to use that. And I'm not going to use it just because I think I notice frequencies are better and CPMs are better um, when you make it manually, but it's essentially the same exact setup. It's one campaign. You can't even make ad sets with the Vantage Shopping campaign and then you just throw all your ads in there and it does your targeting for you with broad targeting, no interest. So we're basically doing the same exact thing, but just making it manually. And if you want, split test them. Um, but this is how I've been doing it. So manual sales campaign, continue. It's going to pull up the campaign. Always um, do the country you're targeting and then um, CBO. And I do one country per campaign or per business objective. Um, keeps it simple and you know exactly where your money is spending. Okay, let's go down here. Make sure you turn on advantage campaign budget. That is CBO. Um, they renamed it. And you want to do a $100 you can do 50 if you want, but I would recommend $100 CBO. And then moving on to the ad set level. Um, I just don't want to. Okay. All right. And then on the ad set level, you want to name this again, USA CT. And then you can get a little bit fancy and do like 18 plus. Um, then you can do male, female, um, right? Just so you can like identify your ad set and who you're targeting. Um, let's see, let's go back to the campaign real quick. Sales, good, okay. Um, maximize number of conversions. I don't know why this pops up as number of clicks. It never ever does that. It's always conversions. Uh, make sure that's selected. And then uh, purchase, and then there's no cost per result. Goal, you're not using cost caps. Um, uh, what is this? Why is it doing this? Sorry, sorry, guys, I don't know. This is a weird ad account. This should be off. This use catalog plus weird, weird. Turn that off. Okay. Um, you want to select website, 
and then conversion event is purchase and then select um, add your pixel if you guys don't know how to add your pixel um, comment down below or message me on Instagram and I'll help you I'll walk you through how to set up a pixel it's very boring stuff I'm not gonna make a YouTube video about it but make sure your pixel is connected um, and then set it for 11 59 <coughs> p.m. right or midnight same thing um, locations we're going to do United States um, right here where it says switch to original audience options. You want to click that and use original audience. And then here we go. United States, 18 plus, all genders. Super, super broad, right? Um, all languages. And then advantage plus placements. We're letting Facebook place our ads. We're letting Meta place our ads in the best possible way. Um, and then moving on to the ad level, um, you want to name your ad. I name them V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, all the way down. Keeps it super, super organized. You're going to select your Facebook page and make sure it's connected. And then you're just going to upload your ad here. And I would leave this on, multi-advertiser ads. Upload your ad right here. Add one primary text, one headline. Call to action. I've heard learn more is actually doing better than shop now. Um, I'm currently split testing and I'll let you guys know how that goes, but I usually do shop now um, for the call to action. <clears throat> and for the website, always put your landing page right or sending traffic to your landing page. Um, and then if you guys are using Triple Whale or, or something like Northbeam, you can add your URL parameters here for better attributes and tracking. Um, but yeah, this what this would look like is you would have one campaign one ad set and then say you have five ads you would duplicate this four more times and then it would keep everything the same and then all you do is change the video or picture um, if you're running a picture ad but don't change the primary text and headline for all these they should all be the same because the only variable you're changing is the ad creative not the headline and and um primary text and you, there's no need for a description um, I noticed no difference doing it you guys can do it if you want but I just keep it simple and don't do it um, and yeah I usually let this run for at least two days um, with a hundred dollar budget I would expect sales on day one if it's a winning product but it doesn't need to be profitable on day one because um, Facebook we're trusting Facebook's algorithm and letting it optimize and get better over time um, let me see if I can show it here. Okay, so this delivery right here says in draft. Once you publish it, it this one's going to say off because it's off, but it, it will say learning. And it stay, that's the learning phase. It stays, your campaign stays in the learning phase until it has 50 conversions. And in our case, we're sending purchases as our conversions. So it needs 50 purchases or 50 conversions to exit the learning phase and then it should machine learning if you guys study machine learning and actually like just google it and 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 find out what it actually is it's supposed to get better and it and and facebook can kind of hit target goals for your spend it'll tell you if you spend this much you still get this amount of sales that's after it leaves the learning phase and it gets you know you can i guess you can say it gets smarter um but what else? You have to get 50 conversions within seven days to exit the learning phase. So what I like to do, um, kind of just to, I'm gonna grab my calculator out. So if I'm selling a product for $50 and, I, and it costs me $25, my break even CPA would be $25. And then I need to multiply that. Um, wait, what am I doing here? We're doing 50 conversions. Um, so 50 conversions in seven days is 7.14 a day. And then you want to multiply that by your, by your break even CPA, which is in this case, 25. So, a 178 budget, um, it is like somewhat of a good budget to have to try to exit learning phase as quickly as you can. Um, that's if you want to do it as quickly as you can, but you know, it's also not cost effective. So that's why we do it at 100, and if it does well, we'll increase it. Um, but you want to be able to get out of the learning phase and get 50 conversions as fast as you can to exit the learning phase. Um, I can make a whole other video on this, um, but the point of this video is to show you guys how to test products and 
Again, if you want to do this in Canada, Australia, UK, you would simply just duplicate this campaign, change the name, and change the, um, the ad set level to select your country that you want to target in. All right, guys, that was a lot in this video. If you guys have any questions, if you like this type of content, please like, comment, and subscribe, and ask your questions down below. And if you guys join the Discord, Viral.com Discord, also link down below. I host a free call every single Monday um, in the general chat. So go check it out, guys. Um, you can catch me in there and ask me questions as well in the Discord. But that's it. Also, I post on my Instagram story literally every single day just valuable content that I go through with my day-to-day -day life um, as a full-time dropshipper. So that's also pretty cool. I um, hope you guys like this content. Please comment down below like what types of videos and content, what type of questions you guys have so I can make better videos that you guys want me to talk about. All right, guys, that was it. That was a lot of this video. Um, we're at 11 minutes now. So, all right, guys, take it easy, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.